Good morning and a warm welcome to our Bahamas webinar with the team Travel Combination US and Bahamas. My name is Melanie Welter and I'm happy <clears throat> to have so many participants this morning. In the next half an hour, I will present you the possibilities how to combine the US with the Bahamas. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat function. All your questions will be answered after the webinar. You will also um, receive a follow-up email with the whole presentation as well as two videos. Um, now I turn off the camera, you can lean back and I start with the presentation. Before I start, I would like to say something about the current situation in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian, which hit the, um, with wind speeds up to 300 kilometers per hour over to the two northern islands, the Abacos and Grand Bahama. He raged three days on these two islands and caused enormous damage that had no one ever expected. Each of us still has the terrible images that have been spread to the media in his mind, and the extent of this enormous force of nature is slowly becoming apparent after about four weeks. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of the Bahamas cannot be beaten down. There's also a recent video that we sent out to all our tour operators and travel agencies uh, two weeks ago. The name of the campaign is Forward, Upward, Onward, Together, Bahamas Strong. Unfortunately, we cannot show you the video and the presentation, but we will send it to you afterwards. Please share it on your social media accounts and promote the Bahamas. The good news are that 14 of 16 touristic developed islands are ready to welcome guests from all over the world. So please support and promote the Bahamas as a beautiful destination which can still be visited. Um, <clears throat> the tourism sector is very important for the Bahamas and that is why um, we have to support the destination um, with everything we can do. You can, for example, educate your clients correctly. Please tell them that not all islands are destroyed by Hurricane Dorian. Only the Abacos and Grand Bahama Island are aware involved. All other islands are safe and can still be visited. Now looking um, on that side. Um, we will start with the actual topic. As you can see on the map, the islands of the Bahamas are located next to Florida. Therefore, for example, a Florida trip can be combined well with a trip to the Bahamas. And in general, you can also combine the Bahamas with other cities in the US. Now, looking at the immigration requirements, we see that there is no visa needed from visitors from Eastern Europe. Only the passport must be valid six months after departure. And when entering via the US, which will which, um, which will emphasize in this webinar, only the normal immigration procedure for the US applies. The Bahamas are classically a combination destination with the US. According to this, we have a dense network of US air traffic to the Bahamas, and most tourists first travel to the US and fly, for example, to Florida and extend their beach holiday in the Bahamas. Florida is just a stone's throw away. Of course, other hubs can be used, such as Atlanta or Toronto. In this picture, we have already highlighted some of the most famous and biggest airlines flying from the US to the Bahamas. The following islands are approached by the US. Andros, Bimini, the Exumas, Grand Bahama Island, New Providence with Nassau and Paradise Island, as well as North Eleuthera. On the next slides, I will present you the airlines which approach the specific islands. The first island is Andros. Here we have a little difficulty as it is not an official entry level island of the Bahamas. Accordingly, tourists who want to connect the US with Andros have to fly to Nassau and take a connecting flight to Andros. Here, for example, we have Western Air, which starts daily from Nassau to Andros. What exactly the island has to offer will be presented later. The Exumas, sorry, Mini, 
is the closest island to Florida, only 80 miles away. Especially Florida tours can be very well combined with this island because you have a very um, short flight time and you can fly every day from Fort Lauderdale with Silver Airways to Bimini. Alternative connections, departure from Key West or Orlando with a stopover in Fort Lauderdale. Most of the clients who travel to Bimini check in at the Hilton Hotel World Bimini and spend their holidays here. The island is ideal for deep sea fishers and divers for normal fishing, reef and wreck divers. Not to forget the, to mention the hammerhead sharks that can be seen here. The Exumas are served by five airlines. Silver Airways is suitable for a previous Florida stay. With this airline, you can travel daily from Fort Lauderdale to the Exumas, alternatively on selected days from Key West or Orlando. From Miami, there's also a flight um, connection with American Airlines. Delta Airlines flies four times a week from Atlanta to the Exumas. And if you take a look at the connection with Air Canada, you will see that you can also combine a Canada round trip with the Bahamas. Those who have been shopping in New York can fly in daily from New York, Newark via Fort Lauderdale. As you can see, there are a lot of possibilities to enter the Exumas. Let's come to our second main island, Grand Bahama Island with Freeport. As already mentioned at the beginning, this island was hit by Hurricane Dorian. Fortunately, the damage here was less than on the Abacos. And today we received the news that flights from Miami and Fort Lauderdale can land at Grand Bahama International Airport from mid-November. However, this still depends on the goal of the US Transportation Security Administration. American Airlines regularly fly to the Bahamas um, from Miami. If you can look at the current flight schedule, the island is only approached until the beginning of spring. Silver Airways operates daily from Fort Lauderdale. Nassau is the turning and fishing cross of the Bahamas and is used by all major airlines. Nassau again can be combined with a round trip to Canada as you can fly daily from Toronto Sorry, this slide. Nassau is the turning and fishing um, cross of the Bahamas and is used by all major airlines. Nassau again can be combined with a round trip to Canada as you can fly daily from Toronto or Montreal via Toronto to Nassau. United Airlines flies daily from New York, Newark and Delta Airlines also from New York JFK. Delta also flies via Atlanta or from Orlando via Atlanta. American Airlines flies from Miami to Nassau. The last island that can be combined with the US is North Eleuthera. Silver Airways takes off again daily from Fort Lauderdale. Again, alternatively from Key West and Orlando via Fort Lauderdale. American Airlines operates only every six months between November and April between Miami and North Eleuthera. After receiving a complete overview of all flight entry possibilities via the US, we have to present you the ferry connections. The ferry company Balearia Caribbean operates between Fort Lauderdale and Bimini, as well as between Fort Lauderdale and Grand Bahama Island. These are the only two islands that can be reached from the US by ferry. Now that we have listed all the connections from the US to the Bahamas, we would of course like to introduce you to the islands presented. Finally, you need to know what each of the islands has to offer that you can advise your customers perfectly. Nassau is the capital of the Bahamas. With around 270,000 inhabitants, it is the most populated city in the Bahamas. The Bahamas belong to the British Commonwealth, which is why we see Queen Victoria in the foreground. They have been independent since the 1970s. Whenever there are national holidays in Great Britain, they are also celebrated in the Bahamas. Our government buildings are whitewashed and pink, which still can be traced back to the times of the British Empire. All the big cruiser um, anchor in Nassau and clients will find here top restaurants to get to know the local cuisine of the Bahamas. For those who want to experience something and immerse themselves in the culture, we have summarized some attractions. If you really want to get to know the Bahamas in an authentic way, you have to experience a true Bahamian food tour in Nassau downtown. There, you can eat small appetizers as you can see on the picture and move from bar to bar. 
For example, you can eat conch fritters, which are eaten on all islands of the Bahamas. Conch is a giant winged snail and, so to speak, the dish in the Bahamas and this in all variations, whether in salad or fried. This picture reflects everything what the Bahamas are. They stand for open-minded people who show a very cordial nature and are simply happy. And it's not for nothing that the Bahamas are also called the home of happy people. They enchant the tourists with their friendly, open-minded nature and bring color into everyday life. As you can see in the picture, everything is colorfully painted and also the clothes are very colorful. Who wants to escape from the hectic city can go on a small boat trip to Rose Island, a refuge for those seeking peace and quiet or couples who want to enjoy togetherness. Also, another um, attraction, you can participate in a rum tasting at John Wetling's distillery, or you can go to the Pirates Museum in Nassau. The Bahamas used to be an El Dorado for pirates, which is why Nassau has its own pirate museum. But if you think that it's only exciting for children, you are wrong, because it is also very interesting for adults. If you are in Nassau downtown, you have to visit the, the Nassau's straw market, especially the art of braiding is an old tradition in the Bahamas. And on this market, you can buy super nice baskets or other things made out of straw. The Bahamian Heritage Center invites you to get to know the culture of the Bahamians. Here you can learn more about their origins and cultural backgrounds. And it's a really great place and definitely worth to visit. For art lovers, Nassau also has the right place, the National Art Gallery. Here you will find paintings made by local artists. And those who want to drive around the complete island can get into the famous bus line number one. Queen's staircase, with its over 31 meters, um, leads to the hill Bennett, directly to the Fort Fincastle, and is therefore the shortest way from and to the fortress. The original purpose of the staircase was to provide a short and sheltered part for the British troops up to the fortress. And nowadays, at the bottom of the stairs is the largest hospital in Nassau. Um, and it's one of the most important historical attractions. After completing a whole city tour, you can end the evening with a nice crafted beer. You will find a summary of all mentioned attractions. Now let's come to the hotels and accommodation. At Cable Beach, um, the city beach of Nassau, we will find some of the most famous hotels in Nassau. For example, the Bahamar Complex, newly opened last year, the Sandals Royal Bahamian or the Melia. The beach shines in a most beautiful blue shades and enchants every tourist with its white and well-kept beach. Let's have a look at Paradise Island, the offshore island of Nassau, with the famous Atlantis Hotel, which occupies the complete left half of the island with its five towers. Furthermore, we also have here the famous Ocean Club film location for the James Bond film, um, Casino Royale. On the next two slides, we have divided the hotels in Nassau and on Paradise Island again into categories, which belong to the luxury segment, which are bookable with all-inclusive, which are standard hotels, and which are boutique hotels. Now we're coming to the out islands. Here we present all the islands mentioned before, except Bimini and Grand Bahama. And we will start with Andros. It is the island with the largest land mass of the Bahamas, but with the lowest population. Here you can really experience the original Bahamas, very simple and very natural. This island is a paradise for divers, fishers and nature lovers. The east coast is touristically developed, whereas the west coast is uninhabited. You can find here many mangrove swamps and also blue holes. An attraction par excellence is the Great Barrier, the Andros Barrier Reef. Um, it's the third largest coral reef in the world. Here you can really marvel at the beauty of the sea and explore a very colorful underwater world. Some resorts are so remote that they can only be reached by seaplane or boat. In this example, it is the Tiamo Resort. Here the guests are picked up personally by the hotel staff at the airport. The Brylands and Rosia Boutique produces the typical and colorful Bahamas Batik fabrics. The Bahamas are not only known for their wicker work, but also for their Batik art. 
Here again, a summary of the attractions. As hotel examples, we have selected four hotels. They are all beautiful hotels, relatively small and super located. If you have any questions regarding the hotels, please feel free to go on our homepage, www.bahamas.com. Um, here you can inform yourself about the islands, about the hotels and everything you need. The next island is Eleuthera and its famous landmark, the Glass Window Bridge. This island is very long and narrow and at the narrowest point of the Glass Window Bridge, um, yeah, and at the narrowest point, there is the Glass Window Bridge. The Atlantic um, <clears throat> meets here in dark blue, the Caribbean Sea in white blue. You immediately notice on which side of the bridge you are standing as the Atlantic side is mostly windier and cooler than the Caribbean side. Eleuthera belongs to the centrally located islands in the Bahamas. But what are the attractions on Eleuthera? On the one hand, Eleuthera is the home of the pineapple. There are many plantations here and the fruits are exported from here to the other islands. On the other hand, you can find here some famous preacher's cave which was discovered in the 15th century. Furthermore, Tippi's Beach, which has already been voted to the most beautiful beach in the Bahamas, and at least Spanish wealth, a small town on the island of St. George's Key. 610 meters wide and 2,860 uh, meters long. Spanish wealth is about 500 meters from the northern tip of North Eleuthera and around 1,500 people live on that island. Let's move to another island, Harbour Island, the Pearl of Eleuthera. This offshore island is the holiday destination of the rich and beautiful ones. On this island, you will find any cars. You won't find any cars. All people drive with golf carts through this area. And not to forget, you can find here the famous pink sands. Here again, a picture of the golf carts. And not to forget the famous restaurant Queen Kong, where you get the best Kong salad served. Again, a summary of all attractions. And we have also picked out four hotels per island. And as mentioned before, you can inform yourself about these hotels, for example, on our homepage. The Exumas consists of 365 keys lined up like a pearl necklace, and here you can also find the famous swimming pigs. For many visitors, this animal experience and a selfie with the pigs is the live dream they didn't even know they had. The Exumas are located south of Nassau, and a boat trip through the Exuma Keys is just like a dream. Take a look at this azure blue to Keys water. You can feel like a paradise. The biggest attraction is probably, um, are, are probably our swimming pigs. They are located on Big Major Key, this Daniel Key, and you can make a full day or half day tour to the pigs for feeding and swimming with them. Furthermore, we also have here the nurse sharks, which are harmless. This year, I was even able to touch one from the boat, and they are very trustful and swim nearby the boat. Beside the pigs and the sharks, we have in the Bahamas, or in this case at the Exumas, a variety, a variety and exotic animal world. On this picture, you can see an inagua. Despite the exoticism, there are no dangerous animals in the Bahamas. Once again, summary. The hotel offer on the Exumas is mixed from high priced to medium priced throughout, and you can find smaller and larger hotels. Now we're already at the end of the presentation. In general, you can do a lot in the Bahamas whether any kind of water sports, sailing, diving, kite surfing and surfing, fishing, golfing, or visit many um, of our national parks. There is something for everyone. If you want to experience something very special, you can also marry in the Bahamas. The so-called People to People program allows visitors to get to know the Bahamas in an authentic and familiar way, as you can only experience when visiting with friends. 
With this program, locals give visitors an insight into Bahamian hospitality and culture. What you shouldn't miss is celebrating with the Bahamians Junkanoo. It is traditionally celebrated on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve. This type of dance is also performed on Independence Day and other public holidays. There are Junkanoo clubs that rehearse their choreographies um, all year round. So now we slowly come to the end of the presentation. We would therefore like to draw your attention to our window decoration competition. Um, we printed these totems, which we will gladly send to your office for decorating your shop window. You will receive it free of charge. And then you can send us pictures from your shop window and the most beautiful window decoration can win a flight ticket to the Bahamas. The deadline for participating is um, the last day in October. For sure, you can find us online. Here you can inform yourself in detail. And if you have any further questions, you can contact us and we are happy to assist you. We also have a training tool. There you can be, um, you can make five trainings. And if you've finished all the trainings, you get a certificate from us and then you are a Bahamas expert. And we are also represented on social media channels. At this point, I would like to thank you for your participation. I hope it was informative and you have learned something new. I wish you all a successful and beautiful working day and see you soon.